Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the nav mesh in Godot 4. To get started, make sure you have all of your collision pre-made, create a navigation region 3D, and drag all of your collision objects inside of it, at least all of the ones that you want to be affected by navigation. Now, go here, create a new navigation mesh, and press bake mesh. Here, you can see that we now have a baked nav mesh, and it is very easy to rebake it if you want to add more objects. Just go ahead, create your new object, place it in there, and press bake again. Now you see, it forms around your new object. Now head over to whatever NPC or enemy you are using. Go ahead and add in a navigation agent 3D, or if you're using 2D, use the 2D. And we'll create a new script called NPC. We actually don't need any of this, so let's go ahead and delete it. Let's go ahead and create a reference to our navigation agent. We'll call it agent. Let's create a new variable called speed. We'll set that to one for now. And we need to create a target. So let's create a variable targ, and we'll just preset that to vector two. Now let's create a new function called update target location. This will pass in our target location. So agent dot set target position will be set to our target. Now in our physics process, we will first off look at our target since we want to be facing it. We will also make sure that we are only rotating the Y, so rotation dot X will get zero and rotation dot Z will get zero. Now we will check if our position dot distance to our target. And you can play around with this value a little bit, but I like to do 0.5. And if it is, the curl location will get our global transform dot origin. Our next location will get agent dot get next path position, we will create a new velocity by setting a variable new velocity to next location minus curl location dot normalize times our speed that we preset earlier. Our velocity will get our new velocity and we will move and slide. Now finally, let's test this out by going to our ready function, setting our target to an arbitrary position. Let's do 10, zero, and 10. Great. Now let's update our target location to targ. If we go back over to our scene, you can see that I have drug in our NPC. And if we press play, you'll see that he will Travel to that point. Make our NPC randomly wander around. Let's create an RNG variable that will be set to random number generator dot new. Let's go here, RNG dot randomize. Beforehand, I have written down the bounds of my map. However, you will need to do it yourself. So rand F range. My bounds are negative 45 and 45 and it is the same for my Z axis. Again, it may be different for you. And we will now call our update target. We can copy this in our else statement here. So once we have reached the position, we will randomize and call it again. Don't forget to add in our RNG dot randomize. And one thing I forgot to mention before is we need to be setting the Y position of our target to our position Y constantly because we are checking the distance and that incorporates the Y. So let's say you mark a point on top of a hill. Well, if the Y is always being set to zero, then the distance will never be less than 0.5. So simply put target dot Y, we'll get position dot Y. And now I have sped it up a bit so we can see it better. Okay, we'll see our NPC wanders around. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.